Fall, that death, whenever he calls, must call too soon. The fourscore years he give, yet one would pray to live another moon. But kind of flame have I, who perish in July, who perish in July. I might. I've had to die a chance in June. I might have had to die a chance in June. Is life a thorn? Then count it not a whit. Nay, count it not a whit. Man is well done with it. Soon as he's born, he should all means essay to put the plague away. And I warn one, poor captured fugitive, my life most gladly give. I might have had To the moon by a love lone rune who fled from the mocking throng. Oh, it's a song of a merry man moping mum whose soul was sad and whose glance was glum, who sipped no sup and who craved no crumb as he sighed for the love of a lady. Hady, Hady, misery me, lack a lady. He sipped no sup and he craved no crumb as he sighed for the love of a lady. I have a song to sing. Oh, what is your song? Oh, Sung with the ring of the songs they sing, who oh, love the love life long. Oh, it's a song of a merry maid, pretty proud, who loved a lord and who laughed aloud at the moan of the merry man moping mum, whose soul was 
sat sad and whose glance was glum, who sipped no sup and who craved no crumb at the side for the love of a lady. Sung to the knell of a churchyard bell and a doleful dirge ding dong. Oh, it's a song of a puppin jay bravely born who turned up his noble nose with scorn at the humble many made fairly proud who loved the Lord and who laughed aloud at the moan of the many man moping mum whose soul was sad and whose glance was glum who sipped no stuff and who craved no crumb as he sighed for the love of a lady. Hady, hady, misery me lack a lady. No stuff, you crave no crumb as he sighed for the love of a lady. I have a song to sing, oh. Sing me a song, oh. It is sung with a sigh and a tear in the eye, for it tells of a right and wrong, oh. It's a song of a merry maid, one so gay, who turned on her heels and tripped away from the peacock of Poppin' Jay Bravely Born, who turned up his noble nose with scorn at the humble he did not cry, so she begged on her knees with downcast eyes for the love of a merry man, hoping mum, whose soul was sad and whose glance was glum, who sipped no stuff and who craved no crumb as he sighed for the love of a lady.
that shrine of happiness would dwell.
Lord, my Lord, I know not how to tell the news I bear. I and my comrades sought the prisoner's cell. He's not there. And then before the prisoner we saw his cell, we cutie found the double grating cover where no prisoner at all. We found we had it here. We had it here. The man we saw, we thanked his care and banished him to empty air. The man we saw, we thanked his care and banished him to empty air. I hate the man, my rival he. The so please the God, I'm all again. I can't forfeit it be instead. Who could have helped him to escape? My Lord, I did not set him free. I can't imagine who, I've no idea at all of you. His escape, the traitor's lurk and judgment must have been at work. What have I done? No, woe is me. I can't imagine why he's free. Oh, woe is you. Your anger stink. Oh, woe. Me, I rather think, oh, woe is me, I rather think, it's woe is me, I rather think. But every time you are his bride and I am left alone, you rest. Oh, woe is me, I rather think, it's woe is me, I rather think, it's woe is me, it's woe is me. Like a ghost's visual keeping, or a spectral or appalling. I beheld a figure creeping. I should rather call it crawling. He was creeping. He was crawling. He was creeping, creeping, crawling. He was creeping. He was crawling. He was creeping, creeping, crawling. Not a moment's hesitation, I myself upon him flung. With a hurried exclamation to his draperies, I hung. Then we closed to one another in a rough and tumble smother. Colonel Fairfax and no other was the man to whom I clung. Colonel Fairfax and no other, Colonel Fairfax and no other, Colonel Fairfax and no other was the man to whom he clung. 
Of some mighty tug and tussle, it resembles more a struggle. He by dint of stronger muscle, or by some infernal juggle. From my clutch is quickly sliding, I should rather call it slipping. With a view, no doubt, of hiding, or escaping to the shipping. With a gasp and with a quiver, I describe it as a shiver. Down he dived into the river, and alas, I cannot swim. It's enough to make a shiver with a gasp and with a quiver. <laughs> Ingenuity is catching with a few my king of beating out with bushels and snatching. I should rather call it seizing. With an ounce or two of lead, I dispatch it through the head. With an ounce or two of lead, he dispatch it through the head. I discharge it without waiting little time. I lost his thinking like a stone. I saw him sinking. I should say a lump of lead. I discharge it without waiting little time. I lost his thinking like a stone. I saw him sinking. I should say a lump of lead. Like a stone, my boy, I said. Like a heavy lump of lead. Like a stone, my boy, I said. Like a heavy lump of lead. Anyhow, the man is dead. Whether stone or lump of lead. Anyhow, the man is dead. Whether stone or lump of lead. I'm the man who's been sleeping with the Stone. Lead. A man who would woo her fair maid should practice himself to the trade and study all day in methodical way how to flatter, cajole, and persuade. He should practice himself at fourteen and practice from morning to e'en. And when he's of age, if he will, I'll engage. He may capture the heart of a queen, the heart of a queen. It is purely a matter of skill which all may attain if he will. But every jack he must study the knack if he wants to be sure of his skill. If he wants to be sure of his skill. Do. 
To the moon by a love lorn loon who fled from the mocking throng. Oh, it's a song of a many man moping mum whose soul was sad, whose glance was glum, who sipped no stop and who craved no crumbs as he sighed for the love of a Who sipped no stuff and who craved no crumbs He sighed for the love of a lady 